I like cats. A long time ago, when the internet was invented, it was a military operation. Nuclear war would have been run through the internet. Now the internet is mostly porn, shopping, and cats. And cats are best of all. Once, when I was having a bad day at work, I looked at all the pictures of cats on Flickr. This was a few years ago, and it was still possible to look at all of the pictures of cats on Flickr on a dull day. That was before the cats took over, before the cats took charge. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that somewhere there's a darkened room where the internet is controlled from a comfy chair by a cat. Although sometimes, when the world is very bad, I like to think that. It would be better than the truth. It's just that I like cats. The cat has had two greatest hits. In ancient Egypt, they were worshipped as gods. Then came a few millennia when they didn't quite fit in and were frequently burned. Then along came the internet and the cats came into power again. You can't move for cats on the internet now. This annoys dog owners, and every now and then, someone will try and make the internet happen for dogs. Pictures of pugs looking miserable in hats will appear, but pugs in hats are not a thing. So they go away. Cats remain. Somehow, whatever you throw at them, cats survive. A few years ago, the lol cat was invented. There is almost entirely no point in me trying to explain the lol cat to you, like it's 2007. A lol cat is a picture of a cat with a misspelt caption. The joke lies somewhere along the lines of, if cats could almost spell and were a little evil and a little more intelligent, this is what they would be like. Cunning and haphazard. For a long while, the cat joke worked. The site was an enormous success, fueled by pe people coming to stare at a cat doing a thing. Then the site changed. People started making their own lolcats. These started being posted on the site, and for a while it was a glorious churning tide of endless pictures of cats doing a thing with a hilarious caption. But the problem was... The problem was that we've all stood next to someone at a gig saying, they're not as good as they were in the early days. We've all been that person. For me, it was trying to tell my friends at school about this amazing, new, obscure, arty and independent, I'd just discovered independent films, sitcom they'd started running late at night on Channel 4. It was, I said, like Steven Soderbergh or Jim Jarmusch if they did a sitcom about people living in New York. I told them the title. They nodded. They hadn't heard of it. The sitcom was called Friends. I stopped watching Friends a couple of years later. I don't know why. Perhaps it was because I could never get a Rachel cut. That's a glib answer. I just simply couldn't stand that my beautiful secret thing was now the most famous sitcom in the world. And it knew it was. And it felt the pressure. The terrible pressure of having to be the funniest sitcom in the world. I couldn't forgive it for not being unpopular. Lolcats was the friends of the internet. Suddenly, everywhere. Suddenly golden and wonderful. And then the wrong kind of people started watching. The kind of people who buy pink kitten plates, who buy calendars with soft focus cats shot through a sock like they're Joan Collins. Only they're cats. They don't need Vaseline on the lens because they're cats. They don't have wrinkles. They're cats. The rest of us, we carried on laughing at the clever snarky meme about cunning evil cats who couldn't write. But you'd notice the comments, oh, cute. Lol! Cute times a million! So hugsy! Kitty! The people writing the comments were less clever than the cats. And here's where lolcats broke. Because the way the site worked was that you took a picture of a cat, you slapped a caption on it, and you sent it in. It sat in a slush pile of cats. And if the people looking at the site went through the slush pile and liked it enough, it was promoted to the front page. In the early days, this worked like a charm. Some genuine genius found a picture of a cat sleeping purposefully on a television and called it Monorail Cat. Someone else decided that a cat peering down from a loft door was Ceiling Cat. Smart. Funny. Lol. But the pictures that were now coming in were just pictures of cute cats, with captions saying how cute they were, or cutes, or adorables, or worst of all, perfect. I'm sure these came in in the early days too, but they didn't get voted up. 
because the people looking at the site were, by and large, people who got the joke. The Turkish phrase foreigners translates as those outside the tent. But those outside the tent had pulled open the flats and crowded in, grinning inanely. For now, a comedy site was being driven by people who didn't quite get the joke and weren't funny. Friends was once the funniest program on television. For a time, lolcats was the best thing on the internet. Then things changed. Other people got involved. People not like us. If you want to know how far things have gone, there's now a payday loans company called Lolcat Loans. Oh yes, they're on the list. The difference between Lolcats and Friends is that it's easy for us not to take the blame for Friends. All we did was watch it. We didn't write the jokes. It's not our fault, although it is, that it somehow wasn't as funny anymore. We can blame the network. You cannot blame the internet for Lolcats stopping being funny. You can only blame the people, the people who crowded into the tent and didn't understand.